to your channel. Yep, that's the noise. Hello, that they hello, Attila, and uh, Drag's gonna be joining us as well. User oh, yeah. Hello, both of you. Congratulations on beating out your German rivals, Knights of Malta. Thanks. Even though you're not German yourself, Attila. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm Dutch, so yeah. But, yeah, but, uh, yeah. but you speak German to these guys sometimes. No, no, no. I can't speak German, so. A little bit. You pick, I mean, you must pick up some. Yeah, a bit. Left and right. He understands when we insult him, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's enough, I guess. And when I talk about players, then I also understand it, but. Like, Fair the enough. normal conversations, it's pretty hard. Because they talk pretty fast and stuff, so. And you know archer and infantry and horsemen and stuff. Yeah. Twitter, Schutzer. What else what else you got there? I actually was this. saying archer as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Even easier. Okay. Um, moving on then. Easy game? Um, in the beginning, no. It was pretty uh, intense. But on the end, on the open map, it got easier. Yeah, well, they, they play two cav, right? That's got a bit of a game yeah. for you guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, but we had three cav, so. Yeah, exactly. And you, you guys, um, you picked Frosty Battle, so you were confident on that map as well? Yeah, we trained the whole week against Kuva and Nameless as well. So oh, we won nice. we won against Kuva and we played draw against Nameless. So. Really? So you've really been working hard on and yeah, so we are, off. Yeah, so we're a bit disappointed that we lost a couple of runs. Because yeah, Kuva is a bit a bit but more better. Way better than these guys. So you're really stepping up your game, gonna taking this uh potential promotion to to Division A very seriously then. That's good to hear. Oh yeah. And uh trying to assert yourselves as the top German team, I guess. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> you guys swing out in the DNL as well? I hope no, we do. Well, I hope we will. Are you allowed to play in the DNL, Attila, as a non-German citizen? Yeah, I will be in, um, how do you call it again? An outsider, so I can just, I can yeah, play. Yeah, we can have... International uh, guys, yeah. We can have five foreigners in our team. Five foreigners, okay, that's fair enough. Yeah. I never got to play in the DNL with uh, DR, but, oh well. I'm sure it's a lovely competition. Perhaps you can stream some games from it. Yeah, that this would one. be great. And it kicks off this weekend, doesn't it? I think it is, yeah. Yeah. Wait. All right. Well, we'll have a bit of news from that. Um, about Valoran, then. Were you surprised Malta picked Valoran? Because it's not always their strongest map. Oh, I thought they would pick it because they're definitely strong on close maps. And right. They have done good on this map before against Acer, for example. Didn't do that well against Acer. Actually, Acer, um, they played with seven players for four rounds, so... Yeah, if that's you true. Take that into account. Actually, they didn't do too well, I don't think. Yeah, we expected the shield wall as well. But... <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get it. You disappointed by the shield wall, by the lack of shield wall. Yeah, a bit. Well, they did <laughs> yeah, it on the crying. open map one round, but not really a shield wall. All right. Sort of. But I mean, were you expecting to win though? I mean, obviously you've been training pretty hard, so. Yeah. Oh yeah. We, yep. You're expecting to win. Okay, fair enough. Uh, anything else you want to say about the match itself or about um, Malta? No, um, more for myself that uh, those two team kills on Valorant, that was disgusting. So, <laughs> because my, yeah, my, <laughs> my second arrow went through the, my own, like the enemy team guy, and then, yeah, I got hit, I hit the uh, para, so it's pretty disgusting. But yeah, yeah. I just want to say, all in all, it was a good game. Shout yeah, out to Rene KB. Of course, yeah. Kurbu. And, um, I, you know, I mentioned this just a second ago, but I mean, like, for you guys, does it, does it add a little bit of extra, like, extra sort of rivalry in there when you're playing against another German team? Does that add something to the game for you guys? Yeah, it does, actually, yeah. because we lost one training against them. And they'll be cocky. Ago. And, but yeah, we wanted to pay your pride it back. to win this match. Okay, that's yeah. good. And, well, it's more important an official match, right, obviously, so. Mm -hmm. Only done that. Uh, going on then, you're through to stage two of the playoffs. Or you'll be playing against uh, Legend, Legend yeah. for a spot in Division A. And um, that'd be pretty sweet, right? Division A, top tier. Uh, yeah, but the tactics there is just disgusting. Playing like five calves and three archers, that's not really fun to play against, but I guess it's always a way that you have to play there, so. Well, you can't win. Flight. Well, well oh, you know. sorry. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, you could, uh, maybe you could change the meta. Oh, yeah. Forward. But it's just, yeah, you get mad after getting killed four times if you fight against four archers and four calf. Like, in example, AE player with that six calf thing. Yeah, it's, it's tough. 
if you don't know how to react on that, then yeah, you can better just rage quit. Otherwise, you get too mad, and then yeah. But sure, it's an exciting challenge, though, like pushing it to the next level and stuff. And oh yeah. Okay. Um, but first, you've got a big French-shaped team in the way of you. Uh, how do you rate your chances against Legend? Now, first, we have to wait one hour for Paolo, so before he gets on the server, like always. So, and after <laughs> and that, we can play. Breaks, yeah, the 15 minute break and stuff, so he has to take a piss. <laughs> then he has to bake his freaking bread, so yeah. <laughs> and after We're that, on. we can play. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're yep. going to try and get a referee for that game then, perhaps, and keep things moving? Yeah, mm, it would be better, yeah. I guess. We're better, yeah. Because he always delays the matches. Um, always. Could be, could be a good idea, yeah. Um, but I mean, in terms of the match itself, do you think you had a good chance? Yeah. Uh, how do you how do you rate Legend right now? Well, I definitely think we stand a chance because, I mean, Legend they lost some of their most important players. Like Peter's not playing for them this time. Toby. They still have Toby, yeah, but it's only Bias. one of them, and they also lost Kaius. Yeah. Pretty strong. That's that's a big loss for them. But I mean, they're still a tough team, and they've got a lot of experience yeah, of as well. We'll take uh, them serious. Of course. What, what they did last season, the WNL. Um, two was like get like an eight match unbeaten streak or something crazy like that. Yeah, so did we in one rookie. Oh, mm -hmm. there you go. So a little bit, little bit of fine talk. Then you nice to know that you're not uh, being too intimidated or anything like that. You got to go into a rematch believing you're going to win, which you seem to do so. Um, yeah. How is Irish Rebels doing as a, a team? Then right now, are you feeling like pretty happy and motivated? No, we are like a bit disappointed that our new players can't play. Like uh, Carpe Diem and Sebek, because they're uh, really the good. Yeah, they're a really good uh, team. You're cutting but, up the Saracens' corpse then? Um, yeah, some of them, yeah. But uh, what's happening to the Saracens then? Are they dropping out? No, their leader was um, not uh, active anymore, so they decided to join other clans and stuff. And when he comes back, then they would just rejoin him. So. Okay. Will oh. they be playing in Division A next season as well, still, Saracens? I think they don't. Oh really? So will there be an extra spot for promotion then? You think? Yeah, it depends. Like I don't, I'm not like I'm not Saracens, so. So. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, we'll see. That's interesting. We'll see if he comes back. Then if he gets uh, Saracens together again, then I think they will. But we will see. All right. Well. Um. Okay then. Thanks for coming and speaking to us. Do you have any shoutouts you want to make? Hmm. Not really. Uh to IR of course. RT. They, did, uh, they just did a great job today. Enjoy the Twitter! <laughs> of course, to the admins of the tournament. Twitter! <coughs> Twitter! <laughs> no. Something you're forgetting, I think? Maybe some... Um, no. <laughs> and also <laughs> freaky for the t-shirts, of course. Yeah, you can follow Irish Rebels at Irish Rebels Clan on Twitter. Don't forget to do that. Tweet them. And, uh... You can follow them there and their progress, right, guys? Yeah, yeah. I, d <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you can, but that's you not can. really like active. Yeah, not well, a, that's what it will be. It will be. Oh. It will, will be. It will be. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. Huh? Oh, Eamon's back. Okay. Well, very well done. And nice shout outs. Eamon, any final closing thoughts? Um, no. I'm sad to see the Maltese. Lose. It's not often you see that. Of course. But oh, I, I am happy to see that the better team prevail. And these are Damn fine straight. gentlemen. And I hope we're going to see the Irish Rebels fight uh, against them um, once more, right? Legend? Or who are they fighting? Legend. Yes. Yep. Legend. So Captain yeah, I just look forward to that match. And I'm glad that we're back on the air. Yeah, sweet. It's good to back, guys. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks to the teams for playing. And be now. thanks for streaming. Finally well. finishing. Sweet, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Well, please. It's our pleasure. All right. Good evening, guys. Take care. See you. See you. It's almost harvesting season.